Hey everybody, what's going on? We got some more Guns N' Roses news today, and it's a pretty surprising article. So, ex-bandmate of Richard Fortas and Frank Farrar uh, revealed why those two Guns N' Roses members are effing harsh and trouble. So, the the, there's a band called The Compulsions, and their frontman is Rob Carlyle, and he discussed dismissing current Guns N' Roses members Richard Fortas and Frank Farrar from The Compulsions in an interview with uh, Talking Metal Podcast. I've linked to the interview down below if you guys want to listen to the whole thing. So, Carlyle hired former Guns N' Roses guitarist Ron Bumblefoot as his new guitarist. He said on his decision to recruit Bumblefoot, he said, I was looking for another guitar player, and I was like, you know what? Oh, who's somebody that's super badass, number one, you know, and the music always comes first, and what's a name that would raise eyebrows? And Bumblefoot definitely fits that bill. So when describing what it's like to work with Bumblefoot, Carlisle stated he's a perfect gentleman, sick player, and he's been working out great. He also talked about his reason, reasons for dismissing Farrar and Fortis. He explained what was a little tough with some of the attitudes and behaviors behind the scenes were pretty effing harsh, and sometimes... Uh, were pretty harsh sometimes and after a while they just became more trouble than they were worth. There's really no other way for me to put it and it's a shame because the music we made together is great. When comparing for Ferrars and Fortis' work in other bands to their work with the Compulsions, Carlisle said, I, I pretty much know most of their musical history, their careers and what they've done and I don't think they hold a candle to, what's, what, to what we've done and I think the Compulsions were just kind of squandered. He also added, but moving forward, I have a whole new lineup of guys that I'm working on putting the, pulling together and hopefully the guys that are on the majority of the new album I can continue working with in the future. Now, this isn't the first time that uh, Rob Carlisle has actually discussed working uh, with Frank and Richard from Guns N' Roses. So in a 2012 interview that Carlisle did uh, regarding the compulsions, he said that working with Guns N' Roses members is a real struggle. And he basically, it's not for the reasons you would think. He basically was trying to say that, you know, since they're both Richard and Frank are in Guns N' Roses, it's such a demanding gig, they don't have a lot of time. So he said getting together to play a show can be quite the production and requires more planning than what's normal for a band. In a chat with Glide Magazine, Carlisle said, it's a real struggle, it's not easy, I wish it wasn't the case, but there's really nothing I can do about it right now. So why does he put up with the logistical headaches? He said the reason is because the players are that damn good and they draw fans to the compulsion shows. He said, I've had different guys in and out of the band over the years, but once I hit upon sticking with these guys, once I get got these guys involved, I saw there was a pretty big difference in the level of professionalism and also in how the audience really reacts uh, big time when Sammy and Richard and Frank are involved. And he's referring to Sammy um, from Hanoi Rocks, Sammy Yaffa, he's the bassist for Hanoi Rocks. He said he hooked up with Richard Fortas and Frank back in the early 2000s and things were going well. Then the duo got involved with GNR, leaving Carlisle to soldier on with other players around town. He said he tried out a bunch of guys, but things didn't work out. And he said he, you know, he joined with these guys from Guns N' Roses when GNR had downtime. So it seems like he's changed his attitude over the last couple of years. It also seems like he likes to hire guys from Guns N' Roses, for largely because these guys are well known and they probably bring a lot of fans to the show who otherwise wouldn't show up. So let me know your guys' thoughts. Do you think he's a bit jealous that Frank and Richard are, are doing well in Guns N' Roses? I've never heard this statement about them having bad attitudes and, and that kind of stuff said by anybody else. And, you know, if they did have bad attitudes, I don't think they'd be playing in Axel's band, but who knows? I could be wrong. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Comment down below. And as always, guys, make sure you subscribe for the latest Guns N' Roses news. Take care.